Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Happy Sunday. Um, so I've been busy up here crafting, filming a video for Creativation, filming our booth tour, filming a fun acceptance. Um, we did a class for Creativation, tons and tons of fun stuff coming your way. And I've been prepping for tomorrow night for Lift Your Spirit. And I think there's a chance yeah, I think you can still get tickets. I don't think Bethany's closed them out yet. And now when you register for Lift Your Spirits, you get an auto PDF sent to you that has your link in it. So whilst we will email out a link tomorrow, you already do have the link you need when you register. Hey, Lola. Hi, T. I was thinking of you, Lola. Just before I went live, I was using the stencil that I'm going to use today. And I put Blanco on paper. I don't know if it'll be done in time for the end of this, but we'll be in your happy place with foils. So Welcome everyone, happy Sunday. So I was just saying that I've been um, prepping lots of videos. So I filmed a video for Creativation, which is doing a class. Uh, I have an award coming that I'm super excited to tell you about soon. Lots and lots of fun things coming your way. So I've been filming, filming, filming. I also did some prep for Lift Your Spirits tomorrow. If you want to see one of the cards, I'll give you a sneaky peek. And also, of course, for Lift Your Spirits, we have a small release exclusive to List, Lift Your Spirits participants. So we'll also have that available. And I've been making some samples and things like that. So I wanted to go live because you may have seen the emails I sent out this weekend that we have a free exclusive Mr. Cottontail stencil set. Hey, Anne, um, we will be using him today. How cute is this? Look at this. So Maker Forte is giving everyone a Mr. Cottontail um, stencil with a $45 order this weekend. You can't buy this stencil. Um, this is purely for uh, an exclusive. It's really, really fun. And Bethany designed this stencil. Now, of course, we can't infringe on any copyrights, but it does remind me of a certain favorite of my girls, Marshmallow Bunnies. And um, you can see here. So we're going to be playing with this to do a couple of different things. Emily and I were playing with it on Friday. And we were having one of those crafty days where everything you touch goes wrong. So instead, uh, I thought we would do this too. Um, thanks, Lola. I did get my nails redone. I did an ombre green and white with little bits of glitter. And then it's a little pot here of gold. This little gold dots down here. And the rainbow goes into them. So super cute and fun. And ready for um, ready for St. Patrick's Day. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Edith in Arizona. Welcome to your first live here at Hedgehog Hollow. Um, so I wanted to share some ideas for using stencils, ways that maybe we typically don't use our stencils or ways that we don't always think about using our stencils. So the first one, where did I put my cute little sample? This is the first one I want to show you how to make. How cute is this? Look at these little puffy bunnies on here. So I'm going to show you how to recreate something like this with your Mr. Cottontail. And it's really, really easy. Now, you could do this on colored cardstock. You could do it on white. You could do it on black. You could really do it on any color. So let's grab out um, some colors to use. I'm going to go... Actually, I really like it on the pink that she did it on. Yeah, let's do the pink. So. I'm going to get everything ready. These aren't my card bases. These are. I don't know where those other ones came from. Okay, so this is everything we need here. Hey, Alicia. All right, so I'm gonna cut my pink down to three and three quarters by five inches. And put these off cuts in my special little bin that I have somewhere else. And I'm also gonna cut a piece of our black down. I think I wanna do black. I like how the black looks around the edge. So I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter by four inches. And I always cut at the bottom, and people ask me why. It's because if you cut up here, it doesn't matter how hard you hold it. When you bring this down, it naturally pushes your paper downwards. Whereas if you put it down here and you 
put you, I don't want to cut it again. Let's move that. And you push your handle down. If it pushes it down, it can only push it against this bar, which is where you would have it anyway. So it's going to go exactly where you want it to be. So you don't get any boot boots. And then you don't get any wonky cuts. I need to score my card base to four and a quarter. And I had everything out because I was doing videos. Now maybe I put it away. So we have everything ready to go here. Now, uh, Greg, you're supposed to be riding your bike, not watching my life. So I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to tape it down with my purple tape. Maybe. It's the only thing about when I first get my nails done is I have to sharpen them up because they're always dull. And then as I use them, they get sharper. So when I tape my stencil down, yeah, Lola, he's supposed to be out riding his bike. I had to buy a very expensive um, new bike helmet for him and all sorts. So he should not be sitting here watching our live. He should be out riding the bike and using the new tools that he apparently needed. Okay. What did I use to score my card? I used my score buddy, and then it does come with a little scorer, but I'm not a fan. I like using the to the point bone folder. And both of these, this is available in the Maker Forte store, and this is Maker Forte's own um, invention, because our very own Greg, Dr. G, changed the angle on this and made it super sharp at the point to get a really nice score on there. So um, they're both available on there as well. I love it, Kim. She says she's watching me on my on her phone, on her TV, and the comments on her phone. So I'm going to use some marshmallow paste. Now, if you haven't used this stuff, it's really fun, but it's potent. So I'm using a paintbrush rather than a spatula. You just want to dip your brush in. So you can see I'm really not using that much. If you use a spatula, you will have bunnies from here till Easter 2022. I can assure you on that one. I'm just gonna paint this all over. And you can see, you don't want it to be thick. That's why I'm not using a spatula because I really don't want a thick coat. Because otherwise, as I say, I will have Mr. Cottontails until next Easter. This stuff is pretty potent. Tilly's clearly very excited about something. You can probably hear her. <laughs> okay. Making sure I got most of it covered. There we go. And then, oh, sorry, I'm, I haven't been looking at uh, comments. Uh, best invention, do you like the spray for your stencil? I love pixie spray. I didn't need pixie spray on this one because it's nice and like thick lines. Um, okay, we're good. So here's another tip. So I'm gonna do it front on so you can see. I have a little um, tub of water next to me. And so when I take my stencil off, like this, I'm gonna take, okay, my Squid Buster fluid in my refill size, but I like the sprayer, that was like the best idea I think I ever had. And then I just put that in the water and a lot of the paste will just come off, but it'll also stop it going solid while I'm live so I won't lose that stencil. So that's really, really important. Um, now I'm going to leave the tape on and use the tape as a handle to heat this. So any heat gun will do. I have the Ranger heat gun here. It'll take a second to heat up. And then you're going to see it start to almost explode. But it puffs up like a jet puff marshmallow. Now you could leave it just like this and have this lovely, you know, cute in the background here. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to puff up if you don't want to. I'm getting so annoyed with my Norton notifications because they keep going over the top of my live and that's not cool. 
So you see he's starting to puff. But if you want to, you can use that tape as a really great handle without burning your fingers because our bunnies, of course, are all the way to the edge. Now, you can puff this as much or as little as you want to. So if you just want a little bit of puff like that, great. If you want to puff it a lot, heat it again from the underside and you'll puff it up even more. How cute it is. So there's our little puffed up Mr. Cottontails. How cute is that? They look adorable. Okay, so I'm going to peel my tape off. I'm going to grab out some glue. And I'm going to just put some dots. This one's really liquidy. It's not my favorite, but it happens to be what was right there. And I'm going to stick this onto here. I'm just going to hold it down for a second until it glues. And I'm really glad to be sitting down doing some crafting. My back hurts so bad. Yesterday I cleaned and I cleaned and I cleaned and I cleaned and I tidied and I unpacked some. We have like, you know when you move and you end up with maybe a dozen boxes at the end and you never, you never unpack them? Well, I started to unpack that last dozen. And now I'm really regretting my back hurts a lot. And we've been packing packages. Lots of you would have had notifications. I have to go out and get some more boxes after I've done this live. I'm like, I need to sit down for a bit first. How cute is that? Um, if you push on that, does the puff go flat? It will go flat, but it will puff back up. And if you allow this puff to cure overnight, it goes pretty hard. Right now, it's really puffy and foamy. And I could go like this and brush a lot of it off. But if you leave it overnight, then, hey, Bethany. Um, then you will find that um, it'll stay up pretty well. So I usually don't put it in an envelope, at least until the next day. Now we need a sentiment, and I'm going to use the Hoppy Easter Simple Sayings. And... There's the perfect one just down the bottom here. Look at this. Hoppy Easter for peep's sake. So I'm going to line this up on here. And I use the little acrylic guide on here so I get my spacings perfect. And you can foil these too if you want to have them foiled and fun colors and stuff. And you get the white on black, the black on white, I don't know which way around, and then a half and half on smaller fonts. So you get a little bit of everything. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that here. Then I'm going to take my little bit of black and I'm going to dab some glue along here. And those little micro brushes are perfect for doing this too, if you have them. Here we go. And now another little trick is with your foam squares, I 
And if you make sure at least one of your home foam squares goes over the two pieces, you'll find it holds it together perfectly. With the tweezers. That's it to you. My nails are blunt, they're brand new. And then there's our first card. So there's our Hoppy Easter for Peep's sake. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, so cute. Okay, so that's idea number one. I am just obsessed. Oh, here, if you want a sneak peek of what we're doing tomorrow for Lift Your Spirits, here's one of the cards we're gonna make. So it has the raindrops, this beautiful shading, these metallic welly boots. We're gonna learn how to do all of this tomorrow. So excited. That's one of the projects we're gonna do. Um, anyway, back to doing these. I also wanna show you how to do it with this. Hmm, it's the peepest of peeps colors. Pink. Pink, pink, pink. Hang on, I've lost my color. I was using it earlier. Outrageous, kind of falling in love, rah, rah, tip to jam. Okay. So we're gonna use this. And this is just for you, Alicia, because you told me that I might accidentally um, accidentally show some things that, you know, when we were in hollow days, I could accidentally show you. Well, the colors for the next um, three ink pads arrived this week. So I can accidentally show you some things and hopefully Greg's gone out, so we'll have a go. So for those of you who are joining us tomorrow and Lift Your Spirit, or if you came to Hollow Days last weekend, then you'll know we have the most amazing ink pads on the way. The first three come out at the end of March. You're going to get early access um, tomorrow night if you weren't part of Hollow Days. And I'm so excited, I can't tell you. They're all our own formulations. We have an amazing chemistry team who made exactly what I was envisioning into ink pads. Now, I'm going to show you this. Now, it's a little bit of a wasteful trick, but if you need to make a last-minute card and you don't really have time or you know that you're going to make this card and then you're not really going to get any more crafty time. It's a good little hack to know because occasionally you need to know this. So what you can do, because I know that I'm going to do this live with you and then we have to go and get boxes and pack stuff. And then tomorrow I have to finish making some samples. So I'm never, I'm probably going to come back to this. So this for me will work perfectly. So you can see I'm layering up all my pieces. And for those of you at Hollow Days who wanted to do the little crafty group, we have a plan. Uh, Bethany will be in touch this week. I think we have a good plan to help make it happen. So sometimes I'll be there, sometimes I won't. Um, but we have a plan that it can happen with or without me. So stay tuned to your email list. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm, I've mounted my whole card up and all these pieces of tape I can reuse. So it's not really that wasteful because um, I'd have to stick it on anyway. But I'm making sure my tape goes right up to the edge of my black matting layer. So you see it goes right around the edge there. Now I'm going to take a Mr. Cottontail. And 
and tape him on as normal. So I know it's a lot of tape, but sometimes you just need these little tips that you can use if you know you're not gonna have the time to come back to the project. Now, I don't know if I wanna use Tip Tree Jam. Look how cool that looks. Isn't that just such a fun color? It's gonna be very pink, but I think it's kind of gonna be cool. I'm also gonna take some of the iridescent Gina K glitch gel. That's not enough. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. And then we're also gonna realize that our Mr. Cottontails were upside down. So we're gonna fix that too. Because I would have been really mad if I had to cut that card up. But it wouldn't be the first time. So this one will be one of our April colors, Tip Tree Jam. It matches the cardstock perfectly. I'm gonna, hmm, that might be a bit much. I don't know. I never know how much to dish out. Notice I had the brain though to not put my wet, red, pinky, um, spatula back in my iridescent. You could also do this with the white and it would just come out slightly different. But I think that is like the perfect peeps color. What do you think? I think that's perfect. So now we're just gonna take this. And smoosh it through our stencil. And I didn't pixie spray this, so I'm kind of hoping and praying to a degree that this comes out right. And of course you could do different colors too. You don't have to just do one color. I have a feeling I smushed it under the stencil, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in my pot so it doesn't all get gross. We're gonna hold our breath and hope. No, no, I did a pretty good job. Look. Aren't they the cutest peeps you ever did see? So the ink pads are water reactive, so they're great for the water coloring if you do our easy water coloring. They are alcohol marker friendly. We also have some other fun ones coming in the pipeline. But you'll have to join us for Lift Your Spirits tomorrow and I will show you all the colors for March and April. <gasps> no! Well, I guess I gotta find something to put on the back because I messed it up. Look. I'm not gonna touch it till it's dry and I'm just gonna then stick a cute little made by Alexandra sticker over the top. But. And then once it's dry, you can just stick a simple saying on top and you are done. But I love it, Look, it's so glittery. And it's got all that color in it too. Just the perfect, perfect piece. Now I'm gonna just get up and I'm gonna move this out the way because it's wet. Now I have a couple of other ideas. Idea number, what are we on? Three? I think we're on three. And this is the luxury of making the stencils yourself is you can just go and cut a couple extra so you don't have to wash them in between makes in your life. So I'm doing the same thing again. Hmm. I'm thinking, you can all tell I'm thinking. So what I wanna do is take my anti-static bag and I want you to be really generous. Like really generous. Like that. And I'm really hoping this is gonna work. I also think this, what I'm about to do would look really, really cute on 
black. Probably should have tried it on black, but we're going to go with it on white. So we're going to take our clear color hive and smush it through our stencil. Like this. And then I'm going to grab out my neons. Uh, I don't want any of the colors. I think I'm just going to stick to those colors. And now I'm going to blend them up the page. So if you didn't know, you can blend kaleidoscope powders. or ombre them or however you want to go. We love Florida, Kim. Uh, Richard of York Gabe. It'd be nice if we had, I mean, we have Pluto. Do you want blue peeps? You could all let me know. Um, okay, so anti-static bag is this. It's basically filled with like corn flour. Um, and you just pounce it on. You can get Michaels. Maybe we can add them to the store. I don't know if Bethany's still on. She can make notes. Um, okay. So we're going to go blue. Okay. So I like opening them up. And this is definitely a risky strategy. It's so worth it. And then you also want either a pair of jeans on, which I do not have. I have my pretty denim dress on. So we're going to use a piece of kitchen towel instead of my jeans. And I'm going to start here at the top. And we're going to add the raw raw skirt. Now these ones that I'm using, these three here, these all glow in the dark, which I think is really, really fun too. I'm also gonna do the tips of the ears of the next row. I don't know where they are though. There they go, we're getting there. So that they kind of all blend a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with my orange. And now I need to find my next row. There we go. So we just reuse that same powder. Don't need to add any more on. And again, just kind of maybe like half the bunny, something like that. And then we're switching to pretty much a different color. So I'm going to now. Just wipe it off. Yeah. And just making sure I find my next ones. Let me such a pretty Easter card. And then we're going to go with our blue. And the blue is pretty potent. I typically only use the blue on black because you don't get any um, like halo effect on the black, whereas you can when you're on white. Then I like to just go basically by the joins and make sure that I mix those two colors together. And see, I did little round circles all the way along. Um, so, yeah, so these are glow in the dark. This is Rara Oscar, Bittersweet, Lime Wired, and Pluto. Um, 
Thanks, Bethany. She's dropping links for me there. I didn't even tell her I was going live. Tell her awesome she is. Okay, so I mix them together. Now, when you wipe off, we're going to peel back one of our pieces of tape that we've been using as a handle. Then you're going to take your cleanup brush. Alex, cleanup brush. I used it earlier. Here it is. And I like to wipe down. I mean, if your stripes go this way, then wipe right, wipe this way. And then I give it kind of a pretty brutal final dust off. Yep, yeah. there's my kaleidoscope stacking. Aren't they the coolest bunnies you ever did see? So then what we're going to do is do a mini clear up here. I'm going to give you another top tip. So if you can do this, but it'll just deposit it everywhere. What you actually want to do is take a Mr. Perfect. Okay, first of all, you put the lids on your things. So your brush doesn't disturb the stamped image. No, it doesn't, Debbie, not at all. Um, it's great. This is a really fun, funky Easter card. And then you do have to apply a fixative. Now my favorite fixative, as you all know, is hairspray. And I'm gonna do it over there because I don't wanna set the powder on my glass mat because trust me, it takes forever to get it off. Quick spritz and it's done. I'm gonna put that to dry just for a smidge. And then this is my tip. So if you have kaleidoscope powders on here, and you want to clear it up, all you have to do is spritz the, with alcohol, so just isopropyl alcohol, not Craig's cognac or whiskey, because I'd get in trouble. And what it will do is it will pick up all of those powders and pigments, and the higher the percentage of IPA, the better. I have 99% here. Um, but it will pick up all those powders and pigments but it won't activate them. So they're all in here and they're all picked up, but I didn't activate them. If you spritz it with water, you probably found that it just creates a mess everywhere. Well, this doesn't. Use IPA and it just picks it up and it's gone. I spritzed it with Tresemme. I think you can get a huge one of these for like eight or nine dollars. But also if you just go to the Dollar Tree, something cheap, actually the cheaper the better because it has more silicone in it and it does this effect even better. So that was that idea. Now let's put this into a card. I wanna cut. Some off both sides. I think I actually wanna cut more off the bottom than I do off the top. So I'm going down to five inches. Just so cute, I just love it. And then we're going four inches by five and a quarter. So who's registered for Lift Your Spirits tomorrow? Who's coming to Dance in the Rain with me? We have some really cool things to do with that Dance in the Rain stamp set. Yeah, me too, Francine. I learned the hard way. It actually was one of those like happy accidents to learn about the IPA. I was like, oh, and it makes sense. But I don't know why I didn't think of it without having already made a huge mess. But I was very glad. Yay, lots of you coming to lift your spirits tomorrow. Um, I have some really fun things for us to do. And the terrific tape just arrived. I have an idea, I don't know, I'm gonna test it out and see if it works before Lift Your Spirits. If it works, I might have to switch out one of the cards I designed because it's a really cute idea. We'll be using the geometric cloud if it works, but we'll see.
Yep. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Is it too late? I don't think it's too late. I don't know. Bethany's probably still here. She'll let us know if it's too late. I don't think it is. Um. Oh, yeah. This is your exclusive. So if you spend $35, you get your exclusive Hetty. This is our March Hetty. It's an exclusive. And then if you spend $45, you get your Hetty and you get your Mr. Cottontail to go with it. Oh, my God. That looks so cute on there. I kind of want to just stamp Hetty on there. Um, ah, I know what we're going to do. Where's the trimmer? I don't think that link's going to work, Bethany, if that's with your spirits, because it's got admin in it. I think that's our link. I'm not sure if it'll work. But you can definitely still get Lift Your Spirits. There's a whole section on the website, so you can just find them on there too. So I'm going to cut both of these down when I'm at it because it's just a lot quicker. I'm trying to keep up with comments too. Let me know if I missed something. Thanks, Bethany. So look at that. You make me so happy. You can also um, foil these. So if you wanted to have this foiled, you could do that too. Uh, we could do that on the last one that I have an idea for. Foam squares. If we order the stencil and the simple stencil, they arrive in time for Easter. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you order them, we will ship it out Monday, Tuesday time. So, and then it will come by whichever mail you select. Or if you just select the standard one, we do the most cost effective. I'm not sure I want to. No, I don't want to cover any of it up. I like it all. Oh, I'm going to go here. There you go. And there's another one. So you see how easy these are, but so, so effective. I'll show you them all together at the end. But super easy ways to use your stencils. You can also use the same idea with... Okay, I'm going to keep this one out because I want to so cute with it. Um, when you have stencil back, you need your little jewel tipped brush. You need a few of those if you've got them. Pretty best. Okay. We are not going to sell the stencil, Beverly. It is a with purchase only exclusive. So, um, the stencil will not be released for this Easter season. So it's a little special one. And that's the nice thing about making our own stencils is we can do some little special ones too. Whoops, I cut this down wrong, I think. Yep, start again. I'm not paying attention. Hey, Gina. Okay. Hi, Annette. Welcome to your first live. Five inches. Thanks, Denise. She said she loves the cards we're making. They're really fun. And they're easy. I love easy. All right, so you're going to do the same thing. Take your stencil. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyone tell me what I'm doing? 
because I have no idea anymore. Can't find any. Hi, Nancy. Welcome. Uh, Christine, this is right now. We only have it going through this weekend. The little Mr. Cottontail. It was a trial idea just to see if people um, enjoy some little specials. Oh, thanks, Denise. She said, I made all of your cards at Christmas. A big hit with my family and friends. Um, so this here, so I've just added it back on again. I'm going to use, and I might even get told off from Beth me, let alone from Greg, is I'm going to use our March ink release. So you have, if you don't already have the ink, you have to join us for Lift Your Spirits tomorrow so that you can get your inks before everyone else because everyone in holidays ordered them and now half of our stock's already gone. So you want to make sure you get in there quick. I'm missing an April one. Oh, no, it's here. Hmm. How do you want to do this? Richard. I need I have one, two, three, four, five. Richard. Oh. York. Okay. Yes, I do this every time for those of you who think this is Greg thinks it's hilarious. I have to do it. I have to eliminate a colour. Someone tell me what to eliminate. I have pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I'm thinking of eliminating blue. I don't know. What do people think? Remove the blue. Okay, remove the blue. I think so too. So I'm going to start off with some brown mascara. Look at this. So cool. Okay, there's some blue left in here. One minute. Tim says the ink is a suspended medium and it doesn't match if you contaminate them. So I'm going to just hope he's right. But I'm going to take a little bit of Squid Buster on some kitchen towel. And these are ones that I guess I won't be using with powder again. I would suggest like putting some tape around them or marking them if they're ones that you use with powder or not. You can see it really cleans your brush out or leave them for like three, four, five days to dry because any moisture is gonna cling to that kaleidoscope powder because the particles are so small. Do you think this one's a bit dirty? I have a feeling it might be. Maybe I should have got Maddie to get me some clean ones. Okay. Just making sure it's dry-ish. So you can see it's a really easy way to clean them. A little bit of Squid Buster on some kitchen towel. Yeah, the blue's mad I switched it out. Yeah. Yes. I know. Thanks. Okay. Just making sure this is cleanish. Okay. Cleanish. Clean enough. So I'm just picking up some pink. And I'm going to dab it in here. And it's definitely. So these are really great for little detailed blending. And I'm using the dab, dab, dab technique um, because it makes them look puffy. Do you see how I'm like dab, dab, dabbing? And it'll make them look puffy. I'll show you in a second. If you're all here for the long haul, another way you can do it. I'm actually gonna go straight to the California Love because then it's really easy to go back to um, Outrageous without having to change. 
you can tell these brushes are a little bit dirty. I suggest having clean ones. I suggest having ones you use for ink and ones you use for powder because these powder particles get all caught up in the brushes. So this is, I'm not doing best practice here. But I am doing some fun techniques. Um, I'm cleaning my brushes with Squid Buster and just kitchen towel. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, you have $45 in your cart, it auto adds the Mr. Cottontail. You can't buy Mr. Cottontail. He's very special. So I'm kind of, if you're all up for it, gonna make this card twice with two different techniques to show you how different they come out. With the same supplies. Okay. Now we're gonna use some green. Okay, I really need some more brushes. Um, this is really not what I want to use. I wonder if Emily's got some in, oops, in her cart. Hang on, I'm going to grab Emily's craft cart, but you can all see me. So Emily has a craft cart over here. I think hers are kind of dirty too. This one looks cleanish. Let me try. Ah, there we go. Just so you can see me. Yep, you can use makeup brushes too. The reason I'm using a little brush like this is one, when I lift it up, you'll see I got this really cool like fluffy technique to it because of the way the bristles are done. And two, these are really nice to get in these small fine spaces, which are kind of important with these little bunnies if you want to do a technique like this. You can also use this end and really kind of get in there for deep detail too. And again, this was a happy accident that I discovered this. I didn't plan this when I got this on here. This is palm, no, this is lime wired. Um. And I'm going to go with some purple. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I left the blue out on this one. I know it rebelled on me. But I'm kind of glad I did. Okay, so when I lift this up, look how fun these are. And they look just so fluffy. I love it. So if you want to do this, but you want a more intense effect, but you want the same thing, you can do that too. We'll do two and then we'll just make two finished cards at once, which is so much easier. So I'm gonna reuse that there. I'm gonna cut down a piece of this. So three and three quarters by five. And then same thing again, I'm gonna stick this on. I didn't think, shouldn't have stuck that tape together. I think it'll work. Ah, maybe it won't. Okay, I also need some Netflix recommendations, peeps. We watched basically our entire list now. Well, I say watched, I listened to. I'm usually on my laptop designing something. But I need some Netflix recommendations. Okay. So while you are all coming up with those, I'm gonna put some tape across here and then I'm going to take this An ink up. And then I'm going to put my tape up here. Tape it 
take my next piece of tape. Imposter. Hmm. Haven't seen that one. We watched the The Guy in the Forgeries on Netflix. Something about murdering the Mormons or something it was called. We watched that the last two nights. I like the murder stuff. I can't help it. And then before that, Greg watched that Japanese thing that's like really top on Netflix. I couldn't I have to say I couldn't have been more bored. Now I'm going to take this and take my yellow. And then I'm going to tape it. And then I'm going to take my green. A watcher. Yeah, Maddie's all about the anime. She could have a really good conversation with you about the anime. I can't. She loves anime. Drawing it, watching it, everything it. That's all Maddie. Okay, there's my last one. So, forensic files, seen them, love them. I always had them on when I'm crafting that and house because it's now free on Prime. Now look, I just did direct to paper rather than sponging it and the colors look so different. Now I know some of that is because I use dirty brushes, but you can see these look fluffy and a little bit more kind of pastel-y. These look bright and in your face. So it really shows that, um, you know, different ways to apply your ink to paper will give you different effects. So let's make up two cards. And I just have tape and stuff everywhere now. And ink. So I'm putting this in my ah, little pot of water, making sure it gets nice and submerged. Like this. The dig. I haven't seen that one. We did watch the, what is it, the one in Nova Scotia. With it always so close to finding the underground, whatever it is, and they never do. Okay, all of those need washing. So. Goliath. Actually, I haven't watched Prime in forever, apart from the movie. Greg's got onto a movie kick, and I have to tell you, he doesn't have to choose some rubbish. I've decided that's a man thing, so I'll just get over it. I love these. I love both of these. I will send some of these with orders from this weekend too. So if you order a Mr. Cottontail, you might get one of the cards we make on the live too. Because there's no point having all of these um, gorgeous cards and not giving them away and sharing them with people. Card base. I'm getting low on card bases up here. Maddie's 13, so yeah, I know I have to be careful. She has strict rules about what anime rating she can watch and what she can't. I'm not sure. When she gets up in the morning, she always listens, but I can't I do go in sometimes and check our Netflix stuff. I haven't had my mink plugged in because I was doing something with the mink the other day, so that's what we're going to use for our foil. The Curse of Oak Island, that's it, Christine. Um, yes, Squid Buster is our cleaner. You can either get it in a refill and then get the trigger as an add-on or a standard. It comes in this size. This is, I know it's a prime time, but it comes in the same size. So you can get different sizes. It's not greasy. You can clean your glass mat with it. You can clean, oh, I have ink on here. You can clean um, everything with it. So you can see here, I'm gonna clean up my glass map and I'm gonna use my little cloth here. 
and it's no greasy residue. So you can use it on everything. Stencils, stamps, surfaces, kit and caboodle. The Good Play, Sense A, Umbrella Academy, um, I've watched. And I just finished Atypical, which I thought was really good. Because um, I don't know if you know, but Maddie is autistic. She has, it would have been Asperger's, but apparently that doesn't exist anymore. But the easiest explanation. So I enjoyed that. Anything about detectives? I love Midsummer Murders. I probably have a few seasons of that to catch up on. So I'm just mounting these up. You know me, I have a pretty standard formula. Yeah, me too, Polly. I'm always doing something else. Knitting, crafting, coloring, working. I never actually sit and watch the TV shows. And Greg really does watch some rubbish. Okay, well, somewhere we pre-cut ourselves one of the sentiments. Here you go. So let's put this one on here. Shout out, Easter shout out to my peeps. I love it. Let's grab a foam square. <laughs> I love it. Alicia says, I watch you, Alex, when my husband has the terrible sh lame shows on. Oh, is there another season, Kathy? I, uh, whatever was up to date as of maybe like two weeks ago, I think I'd see. So I'm just going to put this on. Again, quick, simple, but so effective. In that time, we made two cards, and I just love how it came out. Super fun. Now, this one, we're going to do something a little bit more because I am a little bit more. Bethy's probably nodding her head vigorously. So I'm going to leave a bit more space around this one than I normally do. to even it up a smidge yeah and then we need all the stuff I put out for myself if anyone would like to come and be the crafting coordinator during my lives I think it's going to be a position that we open up pretty soon and we're going to use some of this Mm, look at this. Let's use some bubble gum. What do you think? Bubble gum. Or I'm looking in the foil drawer for inspiration. Oh, this is a pretty one. This is Eastery. Look, it's called Glass Slipper. I think we're going to go with this. Have I seen Outlander? Hmm. I think we have. No, I think I'm thinking of Longmire. We saw that. Well, these are super easy cards, Polly. Um, you can do this with this stencil. You also have the Hoppy Easter or the Whimsical Easter. You can do the easy watercolor and then all of the Whimsicals fit in the middle. And then that makes them super simple too. So I'm going to take my Hoppy Easter for Pete's sake. I keep all my little pieces for all sorts of things. And I think I've had my mink was ready. I need to trim this down. These are our pre-cut 
parchment pieces that you got to pre-order at Hello. Oh, we missed you too, Joanne. She said, I missed you all because we bought a house and the pandemic, then I got sick, then looking at surgery in a few weeks, so just enjoying some hollow crafting fun. Well, you're welcome anytime. Come join us for Lift Your Spirits tomorrow. We're gonna have great fun there too. Uh, I think the focus is out. Try refreshing it. It might just be a little bit blurry with your connection. It's definitely not out of focus. I can see, I can see what you're seeing. Okay, I'm putting it through twice. Holly, we have a Passover stamp set and we have a Passover simple sayings. I think you got the simple sayings. I remember sending them to you. Thanks, Bethany. I don't even have to ask anymore. She's awesome. So I foiled it. So now my sentiment is all foily. And then you can keep this and you can make a second sentiment out of this with blank canvas. So don't dispose of your extras because you can make a whole another sentiment with that. Does everyone know how? Hands up if you want me to show it. Oh, I love these colors, Alicia. There's, um, I don't know if you're Alyssa or Alicia, mm -hmm. but I always wonder if I say it right. We, um, there's this one, there's Prince Periwinkle. They did a whole rainbow in pastel-y colors that are just so perfect for Easter. But I just love how, I love how it adds just a little bit extra on there. It's just everything about it, I love it. Oh yeah. Um, so Beverly, it's really, really simple. Let me show you. Um, you need a piece of blank canvas, and I think I have some up here. Um, all right, we're going to improvise because I don't know where it is. So you need, we have sheets that are printed with just our special black toner on here. You can also use the middle of these pieces and you can use your inserts that you get from us on stencils that have the black all over. That will also work because it's all printed with the same toner. Then all you need to do is take this, put it inside your Alicia, okay. See, in England, no one's Alicia. Everyone's Alyssa or Alicia or I don't know. I have to say that names is the worst part of my job because I never get them right and then I always feel bad. So you want to position it so it's where you want it. So I've got, you can see, I've got my blank canvas, my colored side of my foil up, and I have it positioned where I want it to go. And then pop it in and let it cook. <laughs> Be careful your approach. I packed an order today. I'm not going to mention any names, but I packed an order today and the person literally ordered one of every roll of foil we sell. It was the most prettiest package I have ever sent out, put together anything. Um, but I did have to laugh. And then when you're done, you just peel this off and there you go. You now have two of the same sentiments. So this and this, you can see you made two out of one by getting the blank canvas. 
It is the machine. You can use a laminator. I have the mink out because I happened to be doing something else on the mink the other day. I was trying out a technique and I needed the mink for it. So you can use any laminator or you can use that. Now, as I mentioned, before we started, I put some Blanco, yes, on Mr. Cottontail. So this is Mr. Cottontail and I used Blanco. Now, the reason I use Blanco is because when you put your foil on, so if you use these beautiful pale foils, if you just use your duo, they can kind of get lost in the background a little bit. But for this, I can already, I already knew kind of what I wanted to do. So I decided that I needed Blanco for this because with the Blanco, you can use things like the neon enamels and they will show up as bright and as poppy as this on here. Um, oh, thanks cats and everyone trying to get our thumbs up. Yeah, do give us a thumbs up. It honestly really, really helps. It really helps with the watch agains because it means that YouTube will recommend it to more people if you get more thumbs up. So the more thumbs up, the better. I really appreciate it. Thanks ladies. So I have, you can see over here, my box of some goodies. And we just restocked some of these. So I'm going to, not everything I want is in here, but I'm going to make it work. <sighs> you know when you just don't have the color you want? Ah, there it is. Richard, all your game apple. I don't think there's another pastel one. <laughs> that was close. All right, let's put this back here. I'm going to pick out some rainbow foil because I just think these rainbows are so pretty. Okay, we don't need this either. Okay. Oh, I'm getting there, Joanne. I'm getting there. Oh, thanks, Kat. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a piece of flock off. So this is, if anyone's been crafting a long time, they might remember the old flock that was loose and it was a pain to use and it was horrible and all of those things. Well, this is new flock. And... New flock comes on sheets, which is oh so much better. So I'm just cutting off some thin strips. I'm really looking for we have creativation in hmm, not this week coming up, the week after. And I'm really excited because it means I get to spend a week up here. Now, I'm sure we'll be very busy with the booth and stuff like that. But in between, I already told Emily we're going to be cleaning out the craft room because it needs it. I actually think I'm going to switch out the rainbow. I think it's... Um, hmm. I think it's a bit bright. Oh, I know what we can use. Why don't we use amethyst watercolour? So it's amethyst, but it has... A pattern in it. Yeah, this is fuzzy paper. I'm going to show you. So where's the bit I just cut off here? So flock used to come loose. And it was this stuff. It feels like velvet. And it was loose. And it made such a mess when you used it. Well, nowadays, it comes on sheets like this. Um, so we're going to show you how to use it because it's super easy. You either need to use Blanco or you need to use the um, Gel Duo. And then, yeah, so this year Creativation is virtual and they're co-hosting it with Namta, which is the fine arts version of Creativation. So I'm excited to see what that's about. Uh, it's all of the following week. And then next year it's in Orlando. So it's really nice and convenient for us. Um, So 
So I'm going to take a piece of this. Look at this gorgeous pattern in here. This amethyst watercolor. I think it still might be a bit bright, but I'm going with the flow at this point. So I have all my colors assembled on here. So you always want um, cardstock and then your adhesive medium. Here I'm using Blanco, as I mentioned. Then you want your foil matte side down. So dull side down and then the flock is the opposite. You put your pretty side down. So you just see the paper. I'll show you the flock effect at the end. It's really cool. I kind of wish I had the time to do stripes all the way up because I think they'd look really cute, but we kind of don't, so. Because I have packages to pack for you all. But if I had time, I would do pink and blue flock and lemon flock and everything all the way up. And you can get them in the store, so. All the colors are there. Grab our mink back. <laughs> okay. Those scissors came. I love these. These are the Tim Holtz shears. I love them. I've been trying to add them to the store, but as with everything tonic, they're always out of stock. Yeah, I don't like the forever ago flock poly. It just goes everywhere. It makes such a mess. So... Oh no, Annette says she's not getting her craft show. Where are you, Annette? Where are you based? I'm putting this through a second time. Well, I might. There we go. Grabbed it. Oh, come on. This is the bit, as you all know, Greg hates this bit. Oh, Australia. We were hoping to come to Australia this year. I think it's going to be next year. No, it doesn't cause any issues. You can have it hanging out. I mean, they probably tell you you should trim it, but I've never had an issue. As long as you put the parchment folded side in, you'll never have any issues. Um some of the glitter sheet oh don't talk about this i just found one of those glitter sheets and i was like i need to throw that out that was the worst thing ever i don't know what happened with the whole heidi swap thing because some of her i mean the mink is kind of cool but i don't know some of the other stuff kind of sucks so for a second i also need oh look here's peter cottontail hopping down the bunny trail isn't that just the perfect sentiment for this? That is just the perfect sentiment. Apparently, I already knew about cottontails before I even had a cottontail stencil. Okay, so there's that. I don't know where we're going to go. I think we need to do a Australia tour and find all the craft stores and go and teach at all of them. What do you think? Um, oh, we also need another sentiment for that other card, which should probably be dry by now because we've spent lots of time chatting and making and stuff. We've made a lot of cards in an hour. There's also a religious, if you like Easter blessings, there is a religious version of this stamp set too. Um, for those who want it, she need one more of these. So four inches, five and a quarter. Okay. 
score it up. If you don't lose your tools. Okay, I officially am hiring two people. I'm, a, in, I'm hiring a link dropper so that Bethany can take her weekends off. So you need to drop links during the thing. And I'm hiring a craft room coordinator who can come and help keep this chaos in some kind of not chaos while I'm live. And while I'm just generally crafting. <coughs> uh, this. Okay, so we all are ready to see our little bunnies. So here's our, oh, look at our amethyst watercolor bunnies. Aren't they just the cutest? Did I cut this down? No. So here's our amethyst bunnies, which are absolutely beautiful and so shimmery and shiny and gorgeous. And then... Look at this. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off, I missed a bit. I missed some of the gel down the bottom, so something for it to stick to. But luckily I didn't trim it, so we're all good. So these are fluffy and fuzzy like little um, bunnies, like velvet. Um, so the white I do three and three quarters by five inches. The black, is four inches by five and a quarter. And I actually was working with Bethany last week on our little download I promised everyone. So the download is incoming, but I did it more than it's just not just typed, it actually has the pieces on it. So if you have a piece in front of you, like did I cut this down right? You can actually laminate it and put it on there and it'll show you if it's the right size or not. Kansas will be a long commute, Kim. Every time I'm like, Kim, I'm going to go live. That's a pretty long commute. Okay, so here's our piece. Let's not let that buried. Okay. Of course it's going to run out while you're live. When else would it run out on you? Luckily I have some. Okay, where's our picker and our poker? Ugh. So if this happens, just stick your picker and your poker in. Look, and it opens straight back up again. That's why it's called our magic wand, because magically everything's fixed. And then we need some foamies. Who else wants to see a sneak peek for something else that we're going to be releasing tomorrow night at Lift Your Spirits? So I have a few things up my sleeves, but maybe we could sneaky peek to one. I mean, we don't need any sneaky peeks. No, maybe we don't need any sneaky peeks. So there's our little cotton tail. Isn't he cute? And he's all fuzzy. So fuzzy. So fuzzy and cute. All right, one more. Let's just finish off that card we started earlier. And then I made five cards to send out in your packages. I'm going to have to find something to go over this. I wonder if my little eraser would take it off. Mm. I don't even know what it is. I had it earlier. My table is such a mess. Greg's going to freak out when he walks up here. Oh, well, I'll deal with that later. Let's just um, put some foamies on. I love you, Kathy. I love your orders. Um, I always see your name and you get little fun messages. I think I actually packed one of yours today. I have to go and pack more, but I have to go and buy more boxes. 
because we just ran out. There you go. It's already dry. I mean, I'll probably leave it overnight to cure and finish, but. All right. So we're going to do a recap. And I guess you will want some sneaky peeks. Well, it's not fully finished. So you're going to have to excuse the fact it's not fully finished. Well, we have this really cool new wave builder coming. Now, I messed my first one up because I did the top dark and it was supposed to be light. So I did my waves the wrong way up. And then I worked out what I did wrong. And now it's all fine. Hey, Carrie. So this is coming out tomorrow. So we'll show you more of it. But this, and I did this with marshmallow paste and our inks and all this stuff. So it's a special stencil. And you can kind of see my clouds back here, but they got a little bit dark. So I need to redo it and work on it. But I was playing around. And you will be won't believe how easy this is. It's three stencils and it does everything for you. The sky, the waves, the foam on the waves. It does everything for you. So um, stay tuned to tomorrow night. Okay, so there's this one. So we did this with the paste and we mixed the iridescent glitz gel with some inks. Then we did this one with the Blanco gel. And then we put Flock and the Amethyst watercolor on there, which just looks amazing. And all of these use that simple saying too, remember the one that we used. Then we did our dib dab with our brushes that are over there for cleaning. Then we did the direct to paper version. You can see the difference. One's super bright and one's more fluffy. We did the mixed kaleidoscope powders. And we did our marshmallow paste. So I think in an hour and 20 minutes, we're pretty productive. We're in two, four, we need six cards. And I will send all of these six cards out in our orders. So um, if you want your Mr. Cottontail stencil, uh, it's free with any order over $45. And don't forget, you can still get your ticket for Lift Your Spirits. When you subscribe to Lift Your Spirits, where you get your ticket, it's free. Um, you just go in and you check out and it will email you a PDF. In that PDF is the link for tomorrow night. We will be sending out an email with a reminder and your cocktail and those kinds of things. But if you can't find link anywhere, it's in that original PDF that you got sent as well. So you don't have to go searching for it otherwise. And you can expect a reminder in your email box tomorrow just to be sure where it is. So there's that. Um, I have some really fun cards and things to share with you tomorrow. I'm super excited. Um, we will be doing all sorts of different things, more tips and tricks and techniques and how to make things that metallic. And I actually had an idea that I didn't have before from doing something today. So I think we're going to um, might just change up a couple of the cards. But anyway, it doesn't matter because it's all just having fun. And that's the great thing about doing these kind of tutorials where I can just share with you all these different fun things and ideas and stuff like that. So come join me tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. It is a secret link, so you do need to register for your ticket to be able to join the class. And you can do share with me what you make as well with your Mr. Cottontail and on your Easter cards. Have a wonderful Sunday. I'm off to buy some boxes. And I will be uh, packaging so you can expect some order confirmation emails coming out to you so we get even more in the mail tomorrow. Have a fab Sunday and thanks for spending some of your day with me. I'll see you soon. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.